This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful website and run your business. Welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my cottage. I've got a couple of updates to fill you all in on here at the cottage with some work that's been going on, a little bit of renovation and the next stage of the plan. So without further waffle though, we're going to get into it, we're going to have a little walk around and yes, I've still got my gum guards in, so do apologise for sounding like I've got a mouth full of muesli. Right, let's go. First things first then, a couple of manual Porsches in here. If you like manual Porsches, do stay tuned to Classic Giveaways because the next car is about to drop on there. I think it'll be within the next few days and it is a manual Porsche. No surprises there. So garage update then, obviously these two are still here. They've been here a while. This is my kind of, this is my countryside duo, these two. I absolutely adore them. But this is due a service, so this will go off for service very soon. And I've got some uh, plans to do with the brakes and things like that with it as well. So. That is going in some TLC very soon. I will cover that when I can. Crow GT, as most of you will know, has already had a major service at Reading, and I've just pulled the cover up uh, just because, so you can see it, otherwise it's very boring. We've got it plugged into, as always, underneath there, all the way around, underneath there, into the battery, which is actually a complete pain in the ass at the back of the car. We've got it plugged into a CTEC, which is actually upside down, MXS10. And my GT3 RS is actually plugged into a CTEC CS1. Nice and clean down there. Sorry about that, guys. Terrible for me. Uh, but the CS1 is actually a very, very clever piece of kit. Anyway, we're not going to get into charger chat today. Uh, the main update for the garage today is this heater. Okay? So, not hugely exciting. I'm not going to keep my cars warm all winter. But what I am going to do is this heater here. I've just put it on 20 just to test it out. But this heater here, you can actually put it on a thermostat uh, and an antifreeze mode. So... Put it all the way down, all the way down, like that, you actually get your little frost symbol on there and that'll just keep this garage, because it's not that big in here, it's about 5 by 5 meters squared, and actually keep this place from going down below zero. So you just leave that on there and it actually won't kick in until the temperature in the garage gets below 5 degrees, which it rarely, really does. And um, So that's just belt and braces, but we've got it here. 50 centimeters or so from the cars and that's just going to stop the cars going below zero because it's not a good idea but these two are going to sit in here uh, over the winter so happy happy days i will leave the link to this by the way this isn't an advert either i'm not being paid by delonghi um i will leave the link to that below it's on amazon and also to the charges as well anyway that is it here in the garage the next stage of the plans will be my rudimental uh, insulation up there. That's going to get sorted properly very soon. Um, but that's it for the garage, really, for now. So I'm going to do the loft in the garage shortly. Before we head into the house then, and I know loads of you heard it before, make sure you check out Squarespace. If you want to build a beautiful website or an online business or a passion project, get involved with Squarespace for your website needs. They make it so, so simple with a load of really amazing features available at your disposal with an extremely intuitive interface on their site. As always, there is a discount code below. If you're thinking of setting up a website, hit the link below, go and check out the Squarespace site with loads of amazing templates and loads of tools which will go into it in a second make your life a lot easier but the best bit about it is you'll save some cash so that link is in the pin comment and in the description but why Squarespace is so fantastic is that even if you have no experience at all in building websites they've got all the tools to not only make your website look amazing in a really efficient way but also it'll be very very effective particularly effective for business now Squarespace are a clever bunch they know that most people view websites on their mobile phone. So it actually enables you when you're creating a website with Squarespace to build a mobile optimized site alongside a desktop optimized site as well. Also with Squarespace tools, you can build members only areas very, very simply. Key goods. You can also set up amazing email campaigns and you can also set up subscriptions as well. Particularly important for business, if you've got a recurring payment model with your business, it tends to be a very valuable business. Anyway, I've only scratched the surface there with features available with Squarespace. If you use the link in the pin comment and in the description, you use either of them, they're exactly the same, you'll get 10% off your first website with Squarespace. But you have to hit that link. Get in the pot with that. Um, and we will now cross over live by the magic of the internet. Squarespace aside then, let's go in. 
nothing in the driveway because the car I need to show you that was in the driveway, dry patch, I can't show you yet either. We've got here an IntelliPost. So a lot of you asking about bollards, lots of bollard chat, lots of car crime at the moment. Um, this is actually, I'm not gonna do it now, but this is actually an automated post that comes up with an app on your mobile phone. Um, so believe it or not, there's an entire bollard hidden in that um, that actually comes up and is controlled on your phone. Why you'd want that is because particularly in dodgy parts of the world, not the lovely Cotswolds, but in dodgy parts of the world, uh, you don't wanna be getting in and out of your car whilst it's running and messing around with bollards because obviously you can get carjacked and your car nicked whilst you're playing with a very device that is designed to stop you from getting your car nicked. Uh, that's actually a very clever piece of kit. Again, I'll leave the link to that below, but I'm a huge fan of that piece of kit there. And when I leave a car here long term, uh, that is up. Anyway, we'll go inside. There's been a few changes. There's been a few changes. Coming inside. Got my lovely other half here. What, working out how to uh, set up the audio system. We've got kind of one of these soundbar things under the sofa. We're currently trying to work out, I say we. And he's try currently trying to work it out because I haven't got a clue. In here, it's all same sort of setup, still a bit of a mess, um, but I'm very cozy. You having fun there? Yeah, getting there. I don't believe you. In here then, same sort of vibe, nothing really going on. That is actually leaked in the rain, which is not ideal. That's actually in a state of flux up there. We've got um, some tape, and the conservatory is actually getting fixed. So, uh, sharps, doors, and windows will be coming in, uh, sorting that. Out, but we've had a little leak in there. That wasn't crisps or me. Let's go through then. Kitchen, wicks, big up. We've had a bit of decorating in here. Some of you will remember the more nosy ones amongst you and the more observant ones remember there was some sort of mural on that wall. Uh, we've had the beams painted in here as well, so it's all looking a little bit more cottagey in here. We've had decorating done uh, on all the walls and everything, so that's actually all quite nice. Uh, next stage in here, we're getting a wine rack put under the stairs because that's an absolute mess. Um, just a bit for wine and a bit for kind of detritus like fuse box and, and hoover and whatnot. Anyway, let's go upstairs because the main thing that I wanted to show you is up here. It's now a proper home-ish up here, bathroom works, everything's there. We have got a proper spare bedroom as well with a proper spare bed. A couple of bits still to do in here, but it's actually fit for purpose for people actually to come and stay in. This is where I am and I sleep in here. It's where absolutely no magic happens whatsoever. Um, yeah, all quite palatable in there to, to an extent. Office is still a complete mess. Uh, nothing has really happened with that. But what I want to show you is, and I've pre-opened the hatch, this is the next stage of the work. So I'm gonna fold that ladder down and show you guys upstairs and show you the plans for up there. And the work is starting on that in the next two to three weeks. So the first thing is we're gonna get this hatch made bigger and we're gonna get a set of stairs that comes down here with uh, like kind of a, a banister on it. So, so like a semi-permanent type set of stairs that you can fold up and keep away, which will be useful if I Airbnb this place, that I can have uh, an area upstairs that I can lock away, close a hatch and no one can get up there. But I can also just have it down full time with some nice insulation up there. So I can't do this one hand. I'll pull those stairs down and we'll have a little look around upstairs. And it is not nice right now, I promise you. So uh, hold your breath. Ladder down, bit of a faff. Right, let's go then. Ugh. Can already see flies buzzing around. Awful. I think this is the first time on the channel I've actually been up here to show you guys what is going on. Oh, Christ. Okay, right. I mean, I don't quite know what's happening here and why there's so many flies. Oh, my word. Boah. Get out! Why is there so much poo on everything? Oh, my God. Disgusting, absolutely disgusting. There's so many flies. And there's poo on everything, why? That's chaos. Okay, so, as you can see then, up here, it's not particularly pretty as it stands. That's the hatch where I came in. It's not great, but there is a lot of headroom up here. The positives are, there is a Velux there although it needs a bit of work. There is a Velux, and there are no cross beams. You can actually walk around up here. There's loads of headroom. I mean, if you look above me, I can't, I've got my phone light on. I can just about touch the light, that's the ceiling. So there's a lot of headroom up here, and the aim will be to turn this into um, a cinema room of sorts. The idea, I think, will be have a projector or something of some nature up that end. And obviously, at the moment, we've got 
I mean, I couldn't even tell you what this stuff even is. None of it is functional though. It's literally just dumped up here. Tanks and boxes and, uh, and crap. And the guys from Unicorn um, who have been working on this place will be sorting it out. But actually, rather annoyingly, that is daylight out there. So not particularly um, energy efficient. We've got coat hooks up here. So there are signs of life that things have gone on up here and there's lighting as well. But I don't understand why it is how it is. Anyway, new floors are gonna to need to go in. We're gonna to need to put some insulation in here as well and just make it a little bit more habitable. But overall, I think it'll be quite a nice little kind of uh, loft room, cinema room up here. And at the moment, I've currently got my security systems as well up here, but that will move. There are three point plugs and electricity and stuff up here already, so it's not completely sparse. It's very strange, but it's the whole sort of floor print of the house pretty much by the extended bit up here available to you. So that'll be very nice and that'll be coming very, very soon. But this needs to be sorted in terms of how to get back down into the house in a palatable way that the dogs can also come up with us and a hatch that closes back over again so that when we're up here, the dogs just don't just fall through a hole. So that will be for the guys at Unicorn to work out. We've got a hole in the floor there as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, the floor's gonna need redoing or carpeting properly. That's gonna be the cheapest option. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys up here. Not very nice, I need to get out. All nicely closed off then. I think that all that is time to say is, thank you very much for watching. Do stay tuned for a new addition to the garage, or two new additions actually. And as I said at the start of the video, do check out Squarespace. Use the link below, because if you're setting up a website, they really are the best in the game and they make it so easy to make a beautiful website. And they're long-standing supporters of the channel as well, so do please get in the mix with them. For now, thank you very much. And if you know how to connect Bluetooth to a TV, please let me know. Yeah, get in the comments on how to do that. For now, see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.